for Smith's RD. Well, today we have a Lotus 910 block on our CNC mill, and we're actually opening this up for larger cylinders, which our customer got out of England. They're actually Nicosil lined aluminum cylinders, which is pretty nice. And we're going to be opening this up to 4 inches, 32 and a half thousandths. So our sleeve diameter is 4 inches, 30 thousandths. So we want a couple thousandths of slip in there. And then we're going to cut the spigot bore where this thing sits on the bottom of the sleeve from the block to 4 inches, 290 thousandths. And I guess we're doing some preliminary boring here. Uh, we're probably about uh, 1,500 or so thousandths over the standard size. We're going to measure this and see how much more we need to take out. Well, there we have that. We're going to go ahead and change our tool bit out after we make a couple of dimensional checks here. We'll be right back. All right, well, I've reset the tool bit. I've uh, done a small bore down in here to check my size, and I'm right on the specification I want to have. So we're going to go ahead and punch the go button and watch this thing do its job. We we'll actually take the program to where we're going to actually bore the thing a little bit faster. We went from four inches per minute to five. So that's got my total cycle time down for four cylinders to about six minutes from nine. Big on the uh, bore, so that this thing will slip in. 
the thing of it is we don't want to use any sort of a press fit on this because if we press this down then our the bottom half of our cylinder would squeeze in and we don't want to have to actually revisit the honing on this cylinder if we don't have to Sharpie got an error in our program here, so we'll be right back. All right, somehow I had inserted an extra extra number three bore, so I'm gonna go to number four and get this thing finished up. By running a light cutting oil on this thing, you're going to improve your surface finish quite a bit, rather than doing this dry. Of course, if you did with a polycrystalline diamond tool bit, you wouldn't have a problem. Stick this in there. Oh, yeah, this is gonna fit slick. Yep, okay. Anyway, John Costa Mesa RD, we'll see you soon. We'll be back to uh, finish this uh, spigot bore off here. Alright, well, we've made our final adjustment to the uh, tool so we can cut the diameter of the spigot bore here. And we've already tested the first one with our tracking feature on the machine which is real nice because you can uh, crank this down by hand so we're going to go ahead and hit the go button See, the cut itself doesn't take very long. It's just getting there. Now that we're doing this, we're going to probably have to deck the block. We'll have to assemble this and see where our deck height on the uh, liner is. And we want about 2,000 sticking out.
and that's how we put in these uh, larger liners on the uh, Jensen Healy Lotus 910 block. Uh, if you need something like this done, come on over and see us here at Costa Mesa and the Automotive Machine Shop. We'll see you soon.